Hello, Herman. Can you hear me well? Hi. Yes, I can hear you. Nice to meet you from Prague. This is Yiri, broadcasting <laughs> from Prague. And when are you currently? Are you in the uh, Netherlands? Yes, I'm in the Netherlands. Yes. Close so to our, Prague. <laughs> yes, yes. It's a Central Europe, European Connect. And uh, we have honored guest uh, Herman Schau. <laughs> is it correct, the pronunciation of your name? Yes, yeah, correct. Well Perfect. done. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for coming. Let's have a efficient and let's have a friendly and let's have a relaxed podcast together. And uh, I have also compiled under this video some professional information about you, about your uh, profession. But with you, when you tell with your own words, Herman, what do you do professionally for living? Can you share with us? Okay, it's very short and sweet. I help business women transform their confidence through portrait photography and virtual portrait experiences. Very nice, very nice. I see many of your uh, many of your achievements behind you on the wall. They are nice. <laughs> and uh, if you should uh, maybe look back into your past a little bit and tell us some some funny moments from your from your some interesting funny moments from your work uh, behind the scenes. What could it be? Do you have some uh, interesting stories from the past? Funny moments. Wow. You've caught me off guard. <laughs> Never thought about this. Um, okay, maybe later. You can say later. But now I will change my question a little bit. Uh, what are you proud of or grateful for to have achieved in the past? Some tasks which you are really happy about? Mm -hmm. um, when I first started photography uh, 10 years ago, I photographed a lot of fashion models. And I want to be published in Vogue. So I sent in a lot of my work to Vogue Italy. Yeah. And every time I sent in, I got rejected. No, no, no. But I did not give up. I carry on sending my work for one year. And then one day, they published my work, uh, which I photographed a model in London. So I was, wow, I was jumping for joy. And then the second publication was um, was photographed in Singapore. So I had two publications in Vogue Italy. That was, you know, my one of my proudest moments. Mm -hmm. Yes, this mm -hmm. is very nice. Thank you for sharing. This is great. And uh, I also know about you, and this brings me to my next question about your current projects, that I know that you also work online but not only online, you work physically in your studio and you work online. Can you tell us something about your current projects? What are you now working on topically or uh, currently? I wouldn't call it a project. I think it's something which I implemented. Um, I suppose you meant virtual photo shoot. Yes, 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 virtual. Yes, yes enough, um, because... Yeah, um, I actually implemented this early this year because of COVID. Nobody was coming to the photo studio and I had to do something about it. Then I implemented virtual photo shoot. I went to Google and find out how it's done. <laughs> and uh, once I put up the promo promotion on, on my social media, it attracted quite a lot of people and yes. people from overseas who can't come to the Netherlands. Yeah, so that's what I do for my overseas customers. Nice, nice. Yes, and it's taken from the comfort of their home. As long as you have internet connection, you have a mobile phone, we can do a virtual photo shoot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I know also that you are uh, interested in branding and visibility because you, uh, you do many uh, LinkedIn posts. Yes. And also I attended one of great... Uh, I attended not personally, but from the record, one of your lectures on European Business Connect. Can you tell us a little bit more about this? Why are you doing these uh, promotions? And uh, is it good for your business? Does it bring uh, the fruit? Um, are you referring to the 45 minutes presentation, which yes, I did? The last one, the one uh, which you did like uh, two weeks ago, approximately. Yeah, was that really was... Great. 
Thank you. That was about how to become the face and the voice of your personal brand. Um, can you repeat your question? Sorry. <laughs> yes. Um, yes, this is not a question. This is just a, this is just a request for, yeah. for you. If you can share under this video, if you share, share this, can share this presentation because I think it's worth watching. Yeah. So if you have time, drop us a link under this video with your presentation. It would be nice to watch you, watch your presentation again. And um, uh, Herman, tell us, uh, what are you planning for the future? Do you have any plans uh, business-wise? Um, I can tell you, E.G., I, I don't plan for the future because future doesn't exist yet. Mm -hmm. I'm more focused on the present moment. Like now I'm talking to you. This is what I'm focused on. <laughs> I hope that answers your question because maybe you're expecting something different, but future doesn't exist. Tomorrow doesn't exist yet. Yes, <laughs> so, so I don't plan for that. Yes, yes. I will change my question a little bit. Uh, this, is a, this is a good answer. In this case, I will change my question a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. You are doing many uh, interesting things on social media. Can you invite us to any of your events or of your posts in the future? Maybe what... Uh, what what would that be? Would we would we be continuing in what you're doing currently in the same trend for the future or? Yes, because that is part of my job, content creation, which I post on my social media very consistently, regularly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, so yes. you say whether to invite? I mean, as long as because my post is public, anyone can read the post on LinkedIn. Um. So that's what I've been doing. It's, it's part of my life. Yeah. I think you asked earlier, why am I doing something like this, right? Yes, On yes. On personal that's branding. Right, that's right, right, right. Um, because we now live in this generation where everything is digital. Mm -hmm. uh, we, can, we can open an account on Facebook or Instagram for free and promote our business for free. So why are we not leveraging all these resources mm -hmm. to make noise mm -hmm. in the market to tell our ideal customers, hey, here I am. This is what I can do for you to change your life. And that is why um, I focus a lot about content creation to build up your personal brand so that, so that your ideal customers get to know who you are because they need to see the person behind the business. They need to see your yeah. face. Yeah. They yeah. need to trust you before they want to work with you. Yeah. 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 So nice. that's important. Nice words. Thank you for that. And uh, I would like to tell all my listeners, please go under this video, connect with Herman, write him any questions, write him any comments. He would be happy to generate a discussion about this topic. And yeah, uh, I forgot to ask you, do you have any question for me uh, before we continue? Is this a live yes. event? No, no, it's not. Definitely not. It's a. It will be. Uh, this is a. This is a good question, actually. It will be on in one month, ah, approximately, okay. because I have many before you. I have four more. Uh, yeah. Interesting people in uh, in the queue, so yeah. it will be on in uh, let's say no, end of November probably. And where would this be? It will be on LinkedIn and Facebook, but generally I am thinking about two ways how to proceed. Yeah, mm -hmm. I am thinking about, uh, and always I ask my client because now you are my client. So I would like to ask you, where would you like it to be? And the answer can be two possibilities. Inside a closed group, which yeah. I have two groups with entrepreneurs, for entrepreneurs. I have one group on Facebook, it's bigger. And one, one group on uh, LinkedIn and those groups are very closed so only the people who are there would see it so it's the first mm -hmm. option approximately together 500 people yeah wow. could see it. and the second option is to go more public and to go to my feed in the general feed and there I have approximately 6,000 people on Facebook and combined with LinkedIn and that would be more broad Yes. So, but everybody could see it, even the people who are not entrepreneurs and who would probably not be interested so much, but it's more broader. So the question back to you is, would you like a broader reach or would you like more like focused reach? It really depends what you want. Um, 
for me, of course, the broader reach is better. You reach more people. But um, the broader reach might not be your ideal customers. But if you have all these groups, I think they are all your super fans. It doesn't matter. They are broad or closed group. They are people who support you. So you can yes. put it on, on all the groups. I wouldn't yes. limit to just one group, you know, yes, because yes. they are all your super fans. <laughs> yes, definitely. This is true. And I agree with that. And later, if it's successful, we can broaden it anytime. Yeah. Uh, let's get it a little bit more uh, human touch by asking about your hobbies. Do you have time for these hobbies or you don't have time when you are so busy? <laughs> what, uh, what about your free time, Herman? Of course, I have hobbies. I'm a human being. <laughs> We can't just work 24-7. Um, I love traveling. I really love to travel. Um, when I talk about travel, my adrenaline kicks in. I can talk to you for hours. I love to eat. I love listening to music in the 80s. I believe you can guess how old I am. Yes. And I love nature. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So these are the things that I love doing apart from photography. Oh, one more thing. I like to have a, a, a meal, like dinner or lunch with someone and have a nice, really heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Mm. I love that company. Mm -hmm. nice, mm -hmm. nice. As you can see behind me, there is a mat. And we could be discussing, it's a small map behind me. Yes. World map. And there you can see that I also enjoy traveling. And I enjoy also the cooking. And oh. I also enjoy nature. So we have three three hobbies in common. <laughs> what so do you great. cook? I'm going to ask you, what do you cook? Yes, I usually cook Italian foods or Vietnamese uh -huh. foods or Czech. Why Vietnamese of all Asian food? Yeah, it's a good question because there is this Vietnamese restaurant nearby and yeah. uh, there I like one special name, which is Bum Bo Nam Bo. This is like yeah. my favorite, favorite thing. So I try to cook it sometimes and for myself at home. And yeah, Chinese Chinese is good also. All the all has something special. We have come back from Greece recently mm -hmm. and there was a great food there as well. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah, food is food is a blessing. If we can eat, it's a blessing. Herman, we, uh, my sh shows are known that it's very short. Yes. And uh, it's very impactful. So tell me one last question. What would be the last uh, message, takeaway message for our audience? If you had to be say one brief message for everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay. My message to your audience is Stop overthinking and just do it. That's it. <laughs> nice, nice. Thank you very much. Um, Herman. My ciao. pleasure. Yes, <laughs> EG. <laughs> and usually I stop this now, but I will not stop it. I will leave it open a little bit more because I have one more extra additional question for you. Um, What are the trends in the photography these days? Uh, is it changing over? Because you said you like 80s music. So let's say, for example, from the 80s until today, 90s, it, 21st century. Are these trends in photography changing or is it same all the time? How do you see it? Future maybe, what will bring? You're talking about photography or music? Photography, portrait photography, especially. I think portraits, well, Things are changing for sure. Um, but photographing people, um, I believe will still be the same. Uh, photographing people is very classic. Um, I don't really understand or how to explain the changes because to me, it's just photographing that person. Um, The, the number of years he or she has gone through in life and you can see their face, their wisdom, all these things on their face. Um, so I might not be able to answer that question. Is it changing or not? But um, yeah, but mm -hmm. I, I find it, it's the same photographing people. Yeah. Just a hit, just, just a hit shot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, in the beginning, if you remember, I asked you one question about funny moments in the 
photography, photography, portrait, photography, action. Do you remember now or shall we make a second series for this in the future? I, I wish you had forgotten about that. <laughs> um, I can't recall really any funny moments. Um, I can recall emotional moments, yes, but they are not yes. funny because I yes, work with a lot of be, women. Definitely. Please share with us. It's fun. Um, yes, I once photographed a woman. Um, she had a very difficult time after her father's death. Yes. Um, after her father died, all the time she was looking after her husband, her son. And she told me that she felt like a housewife. She completely gave up hope about living. She doesn't take care of herself because... Her focus was on her family. And when she goes out, she doesn't take care. You know, she doesn't put on makeup. Just just really don't care about it. So I talked to her once and say, um, why don't you come to the photo studio and see how that changed the way you look at yourself? And she, she declined. She said, no, I don't want to do it because she has no confidence. She believed that she, this is how she looks Whatever I do to her, it will not change the way she looks. And second time I approach her and she declined again. And then third time I say, come, come to the photo studio. Give yourself a chance. After thinking about it, she said, okay. So I went shopping with her. And during shopping, she was very excited. She was like a small girl looking, at, you know, with all, looking around all the clothing. So we had a photo shoot. And... Once the makeup and hair were done, she looked into the mirror. I can see emotional tears in her eyes. And she told me that she couldn't believe that she could look so beautiful. She, she hasn't had makeup for a long time. And after the photo shoot, um, she said it helped to gain, boost her confidence. And from then on, every time she goes out, she makes sure that she has at least a lipstick on her face, I mean, on the lips, and she wears nice clothes to go out just to feel good about herself. So that's that's not a funny moment. That's an emotional uh, moment for a woman, a female customer. Thank you, Herman. Thank you. And good luck with everything. <laughs> Thanks.